Google test is probably the most popular way to test C++ code. If you know my channel, I'm also a big fan of the Mison build system. So today we have a look at how to integrate gtest with Mison. The best thing is Mison can handle all of the dependency for you so you don't need to install anything yourself. So let's start. So the code itself is super straightforward. It's just dummy code. We have a class which is called my class inside a file which is called my code. Here we have an HPP file and the CPP file. And the only method implemented for that class is the truth and the truth returns 42, pun intended. So additionally, we have the test file. This is where your test should be stored. And here we check the truth. So we check that this function, the truth, is actually returning 42. So it's a super simple test case to demonstrate how it goes. We see that the gtest header here is still underlined because currently it doesn't find it yet. So what we need to do is to use the wrap library of Mison to um, include the dependency for us. We go to the console first and create the directory where we want to store the gtest dependency. So we do mkd uh, for subprojects, and now we have the subprojects -pro directory here. And now we use um, Mison wrap to install gtest. The dependency is just called gtest. And we use that, and we now see it tells us it has installed gtest, a particular version. And inside our subprojects, we now end up with this gtest.rep file. The important part is here that this will now download for us uh, in a subdirectory the Google test dependencies in a particular version and then also patch them using here this rep database of Mison so we can use Mison to access the files and create the dependencies. Interestingly, here we have what this provides. So it provides us the gtest dependency, it provides us the gtest dependency with the main included already, and the gmock dependency and the gmock dependency with the main also included. So these are the uh, four things that we can later use in our code. Now we can go to the main Mison build file and here we have uh, the project. So this starts just a dummy project for Google test. And here we use now the project uh, subproject that we have just created, the gtest project, and we fetch the two variables from that as dependency. Um, important here is that we use the main dependency because personally I'm lazy, I don't want to write the main uh, myself. And in this case, because it's super simple, it's also not necessary. So if you can, you should always use the one with the main already included. Um, important here is we have now basically two kinds of source files. These are the source files, the app source files. They would usually go into your application. So here we have the mycode.cpp. And then we have additionally the test source files. These are the files that should not be shipped with your code most likely. They are just there to test whether your code is doing everything like it should. And here we have the mytestcpp inside those. Afterwards, we create the depend, uh, executable. The executable is just called gtest. So probably you should give it what it actually is a test. But in this case, it's just uh, gtest. We use the testing sources and the application sources. And as dependencies, we use the gtest dependency and the gmock dependency. Um, the gmock dependency in this case would not be really necessary. It's just for the sake of completeness because we're not doing any mocking at this point. And later we need to tell Mison that this is actually a test case, this executable. So it also is included in all of the diagnostics of Mison. So we use this gtest executable here, give it the same name gtest and link this executable. And that's already it. So the setup is done. Now let's run it. To run it, we go again to the console. We use here Mison um, setup and we create the build directory. So you should always build out of source and create an own build directory. And this is now creating everything. And here we see interestingly that it's now downloading for us uh, from the GitHub, the Google test sources, and also this patch file that I was talking about. And everything works and we see that the gtest dependency as project uh, subproject is there and it has perfectly been found. Um, afterwards, we end up here with this build directory, and this is also where we now will build the code using Ninja. 
So we say Ninja that we want to go to the build directory and we want to know uh, build what we have called gtest. So we use here, um, this here is now the same name as the executable. And we see that it's perfectly building using some of the Google stuff as well. And uh, it has been building and we now see here we end up with this gtest executable inside the build directory. So we can just go to the build directory and run that one. And we see it's running the test case using Google test and apparently check the truth works as intended. So that was just a short video today how to set up Google test properly with Mison. If you do it right, it's super straightforward and it's super easy to use. Um, I hope you have learned something today and most importantly, as always, enjoy coding.